Welcome back to my kitchen. I am making some cilantro chutney and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right here. Uh, cilantro chutney is really, really tasty and it's a super um, versatile sort of uh, condiment in that you can eat it on a lot of different things. Um, and if you have any cilantro that's about to go bad, it's a really great way to use up that cilantro. Um, what we have here is just one bunch of cilantro and not removing the stems, none of that. Um, just gonna roughly chop it and put it into our blender. Um, cilantro is something that I buy really frequently uh, when I go to the grocery store. I don't always use it all though, so it's nice to have uh, something to do with it so that it doesn't just wilt and go to waste. Um, this right here is a serrano chili, so just one green chili and then we're going to do some lime juice and we're going to do about two tablespoons of lime juice um, but you can use lemon as well and you can even supplement uh, this the liquids with some water or just more lime juice as much lime juice as you want to get the desired consistency because we're going to blend all this up in um, this uh, high powered blender here and at the end of this video we're going to taste the chutney um, by eating it with some potato and pea samosas. If you've never had samosas, it's a um, sort of a, um, what's the best way to describe it? It's, it's a potato and pea um, and cumin flavored filling that um, gets put inside of like a, basically a dough that gets rolled in or wrapped up into a kind of a, like a triangle and then deep fried. And so when you bite into it, you get some like hot kind of soft potatoes and some cumin and those um, sort of bright green peas that kind of snap in your mouth and they're just amazing they're just one of the best things about um, about Indian food uh, this here is uh, about quarter to half teaspoon of sugar and about a quarter to half teaspoon of salt and you can do as much as you want with that just always taste after you um, after you blend it and see if it needs anything else all right, so we're going to start on the lowest setting here on our blender, and then we're going to work our way up. And it'll take a second for the cilantro to um, break down and incorporate into the lime juice. Like I said, you can add some more um, water or some more lime juice to this, or lemon juice, um, as needed. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. There we go. tastes pretty good. I'll show you what it looks like here. If you can see it in the light, it's kind of a thick, let's pour a little down here. It's a very thick green um, kind of slimy looking um, condiment. And from what I can tell, it's pretty spicy. So I think I'm going to add just a little bit more sugar and a little bit more lime juice. All right, a little more lime juice here. I'm going to start with about a half of a lime. And like I said, two tablespoons or more. It's really, um, it's just up to your preference if you want it to be more acidic. And we're going to go for about another, oops, that's a bit much. About another quarter to half teaspoon of sugar. And we'll just blend that again real quick. Oh yeah, much better. All right, that's where we want it. Now we'll just transfer this into a container. There we go. And um, this this makes a pretty um, decent bit. I would say um, if you're if you're having if you're gonna have a lot of it or if you're gonna need a lot of it, definitely double or triple the recipe. But if you make it um, one bunch of cilantro at a time, 
then you have a better handle on it going bad on you. Um, and you can, you're, you're more likely to waste some if you make too much because it will only last probably five to seven days in your refrigerator before it'll start to kind of lose its flavor and turn a little bit weird. Um, so you just want to use it before it goes bad or just don't make as much. All right, so this chutney here is going into the fridge and when I snap my fingers, we will have some samosas to eat with it. All right, here we are. We've got our beautiful samosas here. These are the potato and pea samosas and our chutney and a little cup here on the side and we're gonna give it a try. These are fresh out of the oven, so they're pretty hot. Nice thick consistency on that. Just kind of coats the, the um, samosa. Mmm. Oh wow. It goes so well together. Mmm. They are so hot. Oh, look at that steam. Anyway, that's that potato and pea mixture that I was telling you about in there. And if, um, if you can't find these at your grocery store where you shop at, check out your um your local indian market and see if they have any that's where i get mine at i get a big pack of about 45 of them from my uh, local indian market just google um, indian markets near me mm. wow mm -mm -mm. that is so good you definitely got to try these go out and pick up some samosas or make them at home and um, throw, throw together this chutney and give it a try. And um, if you serve some lime on the side, you can squeeze a little extra lime juice in there. I really just did that for the picture. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to see um, daily vegan content, stuff like this and some other stuff that comes out usually every day or every other day. So I appreciate you hanging out in my kitchen and uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend and catch you later.